Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our Windows 10 and Windows 11 Patch Tuesday updates that are now rolling out. And Windows 10, the update rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 11th of March. And Patch Tuesday updates, as you may well know, will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device unless you have paused the update for a couple of days. And for Windows 10, the update for this month for 22H2, which is our B-release update, is KB5053606. Now, first of all, the update includes security fixes for Windows 10. And for this month, we get 15 security fixes that have rolled out. And out of the 15 security flaws that have been patched for Windows 10, two are critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. And both those critical vulnerabilities are remote code execution vulnerabilities. And a, rem a remote code execution vulnerability is where a hacker and an attacker can try to gain access to your system over the internet or over a network. So two critical 15 security fixes have rolled out in total with KB5053606. Now the update will include quality improvements that were part of this update, KB5052077, that rolled out near the end of last month. So if you didn't install this update, which was our optional C-release update for February, then those improvements and fixes will be carried over into this update. Now, I did post a whole video on 5052077, but just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more info. First of all, it included various fixes for the input method editor, IME. It had fixes for the desktop window manager, which is responsible for things like um, thumbnail previews and so on, which is quite an important part of the actual running process of Windows. It included a narrator fix. It fixed open SSD issues and a lot more. As mentioned, there were just a couple of bug fixes that rolled out and that video will be linked down below and in the end screen for 5052077. And over and above um, the security fixes and those bug fixes that have rolled out, it also updates the Windows 10 servicing stack. And the servicing stack updates improve the reliability of the update process to mitigate potential issues while installing updates. Uh, I think that's at least a move in the right direction. Microsoft trying to help with update issues by updating that servicing stack. And because the update uh, is a mandatory compulsory update, just to have a quick look at our About Windows dialog and menu by heading over to Winver. And for Windows 10 22H2, once the update has been installed, the OS build will now be sitting on build 19045.5608. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.